guys, it's Jen over at worldofgencraft.com and this is our project for today. It is the cutest little like chocolate nugget holder like uh, Hershey's or whatever the other ones are. But I sat down and actually came up with this all by myself today. What? God, crazy. So yeah, it's really super simple, but I was kind of pretty tickled with the way it turned out. Um, so let's get started with the supplies and I will show you how to put this together. It will take absolutely no time at all. Um, the one we are going to be making is with the Calypso Coral today. So I used the silver 1 8 of an inch ribbon, Calypso Coral and Lemon Lime Twist ink pads the Apron of Love and Apron Builder Framelits. So this is a bundle that is featured in the Occasions catalog and I absolutely love it. It is so cute and there are so many different things that you can do with this. Um, can't wait to make a card with it as well. So I do have a little pre-cut kit ready to go. Um, look at those little sp that spatula cut out. Oh my gosh. So if you go over to my blog, worldofgencraft.com, leave a comment in this post and I will draw a winner in the next couple days to receive this kit. The actual paper for this really is minimal. So I have a one and three quarter inch by four and a half Calypso Coral. And then you're going to need two of these little aprons. And these are two inches by about three. So I would say two and a quarter by three and a quarter for to make the aprons. And then this little tiny uh, piece of the apron here. So this is maybe, I'd say maybe a two by two inch square would cover that. Maybe a little bit uh, have a little extra and then I have these two little handles too as well that go with that Calypso Coral. Um, then you'll need two pieces of the Bubbles and Fizz DSP which is what I used. I still can't get enough of this stuff and I know you guys are going to get tired of it but I like it. So two of those for the apron as well and then a little piece of Whisper White cardstock to cut out the front part of well, should, well this part here. So, um, and then I used our silver foil paper to cut out these cute little uh, spoons and spatulas. And so that's it. That is our supply list. So I went ahead and I pre scored your uh, Calypso Coral cardstock, is going to get scored at one and three quarters, and then again at two and three quarters. And that just gives our little uh, chocolate piece a little holder to attach to. So we're going to set that aside for a minute. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere my two little apron, the pattern paper, onto the cardstock. And I decided uh, for this project to go ahead and pull out my fine tip glue pen for this. And so I'm just going to put a fine little line of adhesive all the way around the edge and I'm going to attach um, both of these pieces to the coordinating cardstock. And before I do that, I want to attach my handles. So I totally forgot about my little handles. So you're just going to want to put a little tiny bit of adhesive on just the edge here and then that is going to go down in between our pattern paper and our cardstock. So just like this. And then I'm going to do the same on the other one. Alright, so now we have both of our front and back and then I'm just going to take my fine tip glue pen and I'm going to put just a line, small line of glue all the way down and around uh, right by the scallops because we don't want to completely cover the back of it because that's where we're going to be putting our little utensils in. So that's just going to come down on here um, kind of towards the bottom here of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp 
our little best friend forever. So our best and ever are going to get stamped out in the Calypso Coral. Like so. And then our friend is going to get stamped out in the Lemon Lime Twist. And this stamp set also has mom and dad um, and has other little different sayings or whatever that you can certainly use on here as well. So I just chose friend for all three of mine. Now I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit of glue down on here and we're going to put this onto the front top portion of our scalloped piece. So that's just going to come up like this. And sorry about the phone going off there. <laughs> I forgot to turn my ringer off, so get that done quick. Okay, so there is that. And then I think I'm going to leave my little utensils till last. So what I did is on this part of it, I'm just going to run my adhesive, uh, my glue. And then what I found... Um, how I lined this up in the back is I went ahead and I folded up my piece and then I just want to put this on here and there goes my computer with the same message. <laughs> oh man. All right. So, and there my phone is now starting to ring and I'm going to have to, my, I'm just going to keep going with this and answer the phone as soon as I'm done with this video. Um, so I planned that one out real well, huh? All right, so this is going to get placed on the inside of this the same manner that you did the other one. Just like this. And making sure that's all stuck down. And then, and then I think, let's go ahead and put our little utensils in. So I just, stuck and you probably can just put maybe a little bit of adhesive down here on the bottom of this and then you just want to throw that down into here and I left this kind of sitting up tall a little bit so it comes up like that and then for these other two I went ahead and I cut it down just a little bit put some adhesive so it sticks once it's in there and then that's just going to kind of come down here and off to the side a little bit. And I'm going to do the same with this little other spatula. Like this. And then we are just about done with this. So I guess this is going to go in like that. So isn't that adorable? All right. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm just going to run some of it through these little handles here or, well, it's not handles, it looks like handles, but I guess the apron strings that go around. Um, so that's just going to get on like this, and I'm going to just tie a little bow quick. And, let's see if I can grab that, yep. So I'm just going to pull in kind of tight, and then pull down to the size bow that I want. That's really cute. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I just kind of put it off to the side here. So I'll get this cut off here. And that. And then I think we're good. That's it. That is our little project. Isn't that just absolutely adorable? So cute. Okay, so I'll bring these back into the screen. And you can see all three of them, I guess four of them now. So maybe I'll just kind of arrange it over here, put these in the middle and those off to the side. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so very much. If you would like dimensions and a downloadable supply list, please head over to my website, worldofgencraft.com, and you can print those out. Again, I apologize for the distractions in this video. Generally, I would just stop it and completely start all over again. But 
I am down to my very last pieces of this um, designer series paper. <laughs> So it, I, it would end up having to be a completely different one, and I didn't want to redo the whole project. So um, th thanks for bearing with me on uh, this one. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.